Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Stories from Calypso. The last episode was a success, so here comes another one. In this one I'm going to show off some weird bugs I found in the past, like this one where you see this auctioneer clearly standing in the wrong direction. I have no idea how this happened. In the old days when you used to die you turn into this ghost that was floating around the landscape and it could revive at every revival terminal you could find. That's not what this is about however, it's about the message in the lower left corner where the server told us that it will be offline in 5 minutes. 4 times. I mean, yeah, we got it the first time, so what's up with this? The Hall of Fame was once bugged too. I have no idea what this creature is, it's an old Fephoid Berserker. Um, is this some kind of old version of the Fephoid that was removed from the game or what's up with this? In the old days when a claim got stuck into a wall you couldn't remove it and summon it like you can now, so uh, I kind of made this picture once to kind of explain my irritation and now it has been fixed with a summoning feature. Ah, the Umbranoid village. A classic place to skill your skills in in the old days when you could just stand on the log, trap the Umbranoids and skill away. Sadly that was fixed when they introduced a new trapping system and this allowed trapping. Once when I was there I encountered Eleria Orion Starwin and if you look at her gun, you can say that she come very very well prepared. I mean look at all those lasers. Or it could just be a bug, I don't know. This mess of a picture is actually from the old Entropia Pioneers forum, so it has nothing to do with the game itself. But you know, look at the last visit message and I'm sorry about my very very wonderful profile picture. But who didn't want to see a terrorist Santa? Oh, and did this site even exist 1980? And sadly this is a bug too, or else everybody who's owning an animal I would have been filthy rich right now. So this was a try for the client loader to show up some of the most common items, but as you can see it didn't exactly work as it planned. Another picture from the Umbranoid village where I was skilling is when I got this double laser weaponry rank increase. This was a pretty common bug to get if you skilled and honestly I don't know where it went but it's gone now, I think. Also notice that the rank up message was in a different color and it isn't anymore so it was much easier to detect in the old days. This is from some kind of society war event which I honestly don't remember, I don't know if it was land grab or something like that. But either way they misspelled the word society so say it's a society or something so not a huge bug but still funny, I think, at least a little bit, yeah. Sorry about the censoring in this picture, but everyone was always censoring their pet, so I was censoring about random stuff. But that's not what this is about. This is about the fact that this person had frail on her health bar. And this made no sense because that was way too low. And it was also showing the max health, so... I don't know what happened, but she must have been a very, 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 very suicidal girl. At another place of Calypso, Mermaid was very, very lucky. We don't know how lucky she was, however, because she only fou. And I guess that's it. I could say something about this picture, but for some reason I think it's pretty clear why I posted this. So, um... What the actual fucking fuck? If you liked the estate terminals, you would have been in heaven here, because somehow the vegetation was replaced with estate terminal models all over the horizon. So, uh... Just buy something, will you? If you're a pacifist, you're going to love this picture. Because, you know, just look at my gun. And, uh, nothing more to say, next picture. This has to be the most dangerous exorcer young I've ever encountered. First it hit me for a lot of damage, then it healed me, and then it hit me, and then it killed me. This was caused by some lag that made the game calculate the health, and then reduce it and remove it. But either way, I died, as you can see. What a shameful death. There was also this nude bug in the old game, for some reason the developers left some nude models in the game, so this is what the technician looks like, and uh, well, this is also an Umbranoid, so if you ever wanted to see a nude Umbranoid lying on their stomach, let's just move on with other pictures, shall we? And when I said other pictures I meant not nude pictures of Umbranoids. Can we try something that's not nude? Next! This is actually a pretty new bug, I got it just a few weeks ago, so it's not from the old game, but I still want to show it off. You see this sexy X icon I have in my storage? Okay, moving on to next. Imagine that you're on a mining trip and you find something, then the game says, you can't get this, sorry. That's kind of what happened here, I mean, what? I don't think I ever had this message before or after this, but uh, whatever, I guess I should just accept this fate. 
At some point during the development, Mindark was experimenting with some blueprints, but they forgot to remove the buttons from the release of the patch. So, what we see here is some test blueprints that just doesn't exist. Or if someone has them, please tell me because I want to buy them for TT plus one ped. In the old days there was a bug in the game, so if you sat in a chair and pressed lie or sit, your character would start sliding into the infinity until you rose up from the chair again. On this picture I've been sitting at Fort Troy and sliding all the way out through the ocean, and my character started sitting in the ocean after a while, so um, yeah. Another cool thing in the game was that if you walked up to a shopkeeper, auctioneer, technician or something and they turned around, they would kind of get nudged a bit. So you could basically stand there and push the NPCs away all the uh, very very far away. It was very very slow and it took several hours to move them just a few meters, but it was doable. So I was bored on T-Rex Island once and I pushed his shopkeeper together with some friends into the ocean and eventually the shopkeeper drowned, so it was inactive. The next day it was active again, so I suppose you could just deactivate it and activate it to restore it, but it was still fun to drown someone's shopkeeper. Nowadays this is not possible, because the NPCs don't move around the same way anymore, so you can't push them around. And for you guys who wonder, no, the corpse was not lootable, sadly. For this one I was experiencing some time traveling, because as you can see from the timestamps on the bottom, I kind of lost 3 seconds after checking the time a second time, so I have no idea what was going on there. Um, but now it's time for the final picture, and this is going to be a very weird picture, because someone as my neck has to have been bored. Shulahop! And yes, this is exactly what it's all about. The Swedish word Shulahop, which doesn't actually mean anything. And as you can see, someone as my dog was really really bored because this is what the chat looked like. And needless to say, this caused quite a commotion in the chat afterwards, but I didn't get any screen capture from that. So, hopefully you liked this video, I have a few more Entropia bug videos if you want to check those out. Other than that, uh, just subscribe and continue watching a little bit if you want to see my end message and see some other videos you can choose from and everything like that. So. Thank you for watching and see you in another episode of Stories from Calypso, or Tidigia Mining, or something else which is probably Tropia related, or maybe Planet Calypso related, or maybe not related to this game at all. But anyway, see you around. Bye! If you're new to this game, don't forget to check out my How to Get Pet Guide featured on my YouTube channel. I also have a video of how to make money using the Crowdflower funded Entropia Partners website. Check it out for some quick ped. Links to these can be found in the video description, or you can also click the images above. I've just started a Twitching account, and if you click the left button you'll get an example of my Twitching where I'm playing the game Aversion, which is a horror game that looks cute at the start but it isn't so cute at the end. If you click the right one, you're going to see my creepypasta of a roller coaster in Liseberg, which is an amusement park in Sweden. If you click the amp mining playlist, you're going to see my runs with level 13 amplifiers, so check it out if you're interested in high level mining. Subscribe and hope you like my channel.